NISBA News is supported by the New York School's Insurance Reciprocal. Computer programming courses can be dull. Instructional programs typically display results only on the computer screen, and that's uninspiring to young student minds. The Gillette Road Middle School, a 2017 Be the Change for Kids award winner, is changing this dynamic by including physical movement that begins with students' hands and feet. We do try to mix in the unplugged activities and their open educational resources, so we found them online. Um, a lot of the kids really like that physical movement piece and they make a better connection to the learning. Starting with a simple paper grid on the floor, one student practices programming with hand movements that instruct another student to move forward, back, left, or right. Now that they've had time to experiment, we're trying to get them to problem solve with it. So one of the next step on the spheros and the balls we've been using is there's a series of activities they can do, one of which is a bridge. So we're going to have them roll the ball up and over the bridge and then back again. This approach lets students experience step-by-step -step computer instruction in a physical way. Then they apply what they've learned by programming similar movements to a small circular robot called a sphero. This is sphero. Um... So Spiro is a, a ball, like a robot, that you can control using a type of app on the computer. Bringing computer programming outside of the computer has led to natural collaboration between students. Teachers often witness leadership qualities in students that normally are quiet and reserved. Ever since I was little, I've been programming. My dad bought me a computer board when I was eight. Who knows what sort of computer solutions these 21st century programmers will produce? I can control anything in my house if I put my mind into it. I'm Casey Nicholson for NISBA News.